Now we turn to the stories you're interested in. Alex Trowbridge with CBSNews.com joins us to talk about today's headlines and what's trending on the web. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me on. So what do you got for me? All right, Monet Davis. Monet she, Davis. Her team lost Thursday night. Yeah. But wow, she made a splash this week. 13 years old, Little League World Series. First Little Leaguer on the cover of Sports Illustrated. First girl to throw a shutout in Little League World Series yeah. history. Huge ratings, got a lot of clicks online. Mm -hmm. On our Facebook page, we posted a quote from her. It got a lot of likes. She said, uh, throwing 70 miles an hour, that's throwing like a girl. I love it. I love it. I think the, my favorite sign in the stands was show me the money. Oh, yeah. Right? Because and I've never seen so many people at a little, little, little game at all. Yeah. People were very excited about her. And yeah. here's a kicker. It's not even her favorite sport. Her dream is to play basketball for UConn. Oh, my goodness. More <laughs> talent in her little finger than uh, I've ever had in my life for any sport. That's, uh, she's amazing. I don't know if you were challenged this week, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge that has saturated everybody's Facebook My page. My friends know better than to challenge <laughs> me. I understand you My were challenged. My friends don't. Yeah. I got challenged. I got wet. So did a lot of people. George W. Bush, a lot of celebrities yeah. took the challenge to raise money, raise awareness to fight this disease, yeah. ALS. And turns out that it is raising a lot of big money. $41.8 million Huge. as of Thursday. Compare that with $2 million this time last year, so something's working. You know, we've seen a lot of things go viral, but this is really something special. What do you think it is, Alex? What's the combination that made this take off? Well, it's visual, it's yeah. simple, but you can get creative with it. People had their gimmicks, they could play around with yeah. it, and you pass it on. You have to leverage your social network, and then you tap a friend on the shoulder and say, it's time for you to get wet. And I thought, you know, it turns something that's sort of bad about our activity on Facebook into something good, in that we love to watch embarrassing videos of other people people mm -hmm. like that's one of the things that drives <laughs> the internet you know but yeah. here uh, we can laugh at other people but it's still all good you know They're something great guys. is coming out exactly. of it exactly yeah. yeah so there's a solar plant yeah. and it is uh, generating a lot of power in the Mojave Desert mm -hmm. generates energy, enough power okay. for a hundred forty thousand homes here's the problem it also generates a lot of heat yeah. and the birds that are flying over the solar plant are igniting in midair, and not just a couple. It's actually so bad that they have a term for it. They call them streamers. Because federal investigate. Well, they're. I, I mean, they are flying over they're and leaving like a trail, catching, a smoke catching or fire. Wow. Yeah, and federal investigators recorded something like one every two minutes. Mm. So it's a big problem, and uh, this is obviously a controversial hot button issue, mm -hmm. hot button topic. One commenter on our site called it propaganda, propaganda put out by the oil and gas industry. Really. Yeah. So, There's as always you can somebody see. who's suspicious out there, but it sounds like a pretty serious problem. But I do have some good news. Okay, please, make me smile. Honesty is on the rise. Really? Yes. The beverage company Honest Tea did this kind of non-scientific survey. They had these unmanned kiosks where they offered their beverage, uh, said, just pay a buck, and it was on the honor system. Okay. So people and had to just, just leave money. Exactly. Okay. And through this, they found out that honesty is actually on the rise. This year, 95% of America is honest. Compare that with 92% last year. That is very refreshing. As refreshing <laughs> as the tea, I'm sure. The most honest place? Yes. Honolulu. Least honest place this year? Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode Island? I don't know. That is the last, well, maybe not the last <laughs> place, but you, you'd expect maybe a city that's uh, more scandalous, has a more scandalous history, not Rhode Island. There's always room for improvement. Washington, D.C. was the most improved this year. They went up 16 percentage points, so that could be a good news for yeah. America. Yeah, was uh, Congress out uh, for, on their holiday? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is going on? So we, um, uh, we had uh, some big music videos yeah. that dropped this week. Nicki Minaj dropped her Anaconda video. Yeah. Very controversial, yeah. very sexual, and not the safest thing to watch at work. It's no. uh, got a lot of hits on YouTube, 29 million hits. We did a little poll on CBSNews.com, yeah. a little love it or hate it Insta poll. 53% loved it. I would like to see the male-female breakdown <laughs> of that. Uh, yeah, we, we would for you people who thought like twerking was over, not if you watch this video. And there was also some twerking in the other video that dropped this week. Taylor Swift, her Shake It Up uh, video, Shake It Off video. Yeah. Had some twerking in it. Also controversial, yeah. not uh, as dangerous to watch at work. Yeah. On YouTube, it got 23 million hits. Compare that with 29. From Still Nicki Minaj. great numbers for both of those ladies. I'm sure they're doing quite well. Uh, Alex Strobridge, <laughs> reporter for CBSNews.com, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me on.